Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at the Stride Field Remote I.O. Modules Unboxing SIO MB12 CDR and SIO MB04 ADS. So, detailed information contained in the video can be found at ACC Automation. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start your video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So this, the Stride Field I.O. modules are simple and compact. They provide an economical means to connect inputs and outputs to an Ethernet Modbus TCP communication network. Now every module operates as a standalone Modbus TCP server and can, can be configured via a built-in web server. So up on my screen here, this is a, a general statement for the uh, Stride Field I.O. And then what we'll have is our two modules. The first one we'll look at is our discrete combo module, which has eight inputs and four outputs. And um, again, like as we said, the features, we interface using the Ethernet um, Modbus TCP uh, server. We have the eight digital inputs. We have four relay outputs, which are single pull double throw. So we have a normally open and a normally closed contact on those outputs. There's an integrated web server that, that uh, will actually be used to um, acquire the status. You could also uh, set up that modules. Then we have some LEDs that we'll be seeing. The next module we'll look at would be the uh, analog input module it's a four channel uh, current and voltage so it has four isolated input channels now each channel will have a voltage and a current that you may use separately from each other so a total of eight uh, analog can come into that unit okay. so what we'll do is go right to our hardware and here is our two boxes. This is the stride uh, combination. So let's open that up. And inside, what we have is our uh, quick guide. And this is the exact same quick guide that we just looked at in the PDF form. So it just gives you a brief description as well as all the specifications that we have on there. On the back, we actually have our wiring diagrams and our um, Modbus addresses that we have here that we'll discuss later. So the module itself looks like this. We actually have our um, Ethernet port located right here. We have our field I.O. digital inputs on this side. We have our outputs located on this side. And we have our power supply located right down here. You see everything is laid out in our diagram on the side of the unit itself. And if we were to flip this over, you'll see that we also have the default uh, MAC address, the default IP, the username and password located right at the back and all this information. Now you'll see that on the front side, all of our status indication lights are right here. And um, they will turn on and off and we have our power and we have our standard there. So that's, and we have a reset button located right there. You'll also notice that the connectors themselves they can pull apart and be wired independently. We also see that we have a, um, the ability to put this on a DIN rail. So it's a DIN rail mountable into our panel. So uh, that will actually sit in our panel just like that. And then we can plug in our connectors. So that is our um, stride unit. That's our combo model, the SIO MB12 CDR. Next we have our analog.
in our analog module. There it is. And what we'll do is take a look and we have our instruction seat sheet so once again. Again, this is the same one we just looked at in our PDF. It gives you that as well as it gives you your wiring diagrams and your Modbus addresses for this particular unit. So looking at the actual hardware itself, you see that we have our reset button. We have our power and status lights here. Then on the top of it, we have our, our ethernet connection. We have our um, supply voltage coming into here. Look on the back, you can actually see that. And it's the supply voltage anywhere, again, from 20 to 30 volts DC. That applies to both of these units. Then we have our, our current and our, um, our current passive and uh, our active and our passive current uh, connections. Then we have our voltage connection. And here is our inputs, one, two, three, and four listed on the side. Once again, our connectors are, um, can be pulled in. The longer ones seem to have a little more resistance and they plug back in again. And then we have our, our power supply connector can be plugged in and put back. Again, didn't rail mountable, and we can put that right into the panel. So there's our two modules. We have our analog, and we have our combination module. Right. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, uh, please leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us, or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems, or robust data logging, please click on the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.